This is Writing Equations of Lines, Part 3. Notice on this one I'm asking you to write the equation of the line in standard form. So we'll worry about that standard form at the end. We still know we have to work with our y equals mx plus b, and the first thing we need to find is m. I've written this with the second point underneath, so now I can just work my way down. And my slope is 5 minus a negative 1, and I'm going to change that to plus a plus. This is negative 2 minus 1 plus a negative. 5 plus 1 is 6. Negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. Divide that out, gives us negative 2, and we need to plug into y equals mx plus b. There's our m. There's the point I'm going to use. Plugging in negative 1 for y. m is negative 2. x is 1 plus b. Negative 1 is negative 2 plus b. Add 2 to both sides, and we have b equals 1. So our equation in slope-intercept form is y equals negative 2x plus 1. But that's slope-intercept form. I need to swap this out to be standard form. We know standard form is ax plus by equals c. So this one's really easy to do. All I have to do is add 2x to both sides, and it's done. I will have 2x plus y equals 1. If you want to check, you're going to use your other point. So put a negative 2 in for x and a positive 5 in for y. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Plus 5 is 1, which checks. So there's our answer right there in standard form. Same thing, write an equation of a line that passes through these points. So there's my point written underneath it. Here's the beginning of my slope. And look what we get for our slope. 2 minus 2 is 0. 5 minus 3 is 2. 0 divided by anything is 0. Now, from here, there's two ways to go. You can use the y equals mx plus b and plug in. But if you remember something, you can save yourself some time. If you remember that the slope is 0, means you have a horizontal line. And you remember a horizontal line begins with y equals some number. The number it's going to equal is the y value on both of those points. That's the quickest way to finish that one out once you decide, once you identify that the slope is 0. However, if you didn't think about that at all, we can use the second point. And I just keep using the second point because it's the one on the bottom. You can use whatever point that you want. Plugging in, y is 2, m is 0, x is 3, plus b, of course 0 times 3 is 0, and I get b equals 2. Plugging in, I will have y equals 0 times x, plus the b we just found. That goes away, and there's your y equals 2. So you can complete it either way, either recognizing it's horizontal and going straight to the y equals, or plugging into y equals mx plus b. Similar problem, equation of the line through those points, writing the 2, 1 there, but watch what happens with this slope when I do the 6 minus 1 and the 2 minus 2. I get 5 over 0, and hopefully you remember that 5 divided by 0 is undefined. Because it's undefined, I can't use y equals mx plus b, because how do you plug undefined in for slope? Can't do it. This one, you must remember, undefined goes with a vertical line. And a vertical line is always the equation x equals some value, and the value it equals is whatever the x value was in the problem. So x equals 2. So here's the little shortcut. If the y values of the two points are the same, if the y values of the two points are the same, then you know you're dealing with a horizontal line and your equation is y equals whatever that is. Now think about that. The y value is the same, so my equation is y equals that number. The y value is the same, so my equation is y equals that number. And that's all you have to do. Same kind of rule. If the two x values are the same, the line must be vertical, and the equation is x equals a. So here we go. I've got these two x values the same, so my equation is x equals that number.
Here's my two x values the same, so my equation is x equals that number. New type of problem, but you'll see that it is very similar to ones that we have done once you get it started. It says write an equation of a line with x-intercept equal to 4 and y-intercept equal to 2. To do this, you have to think about what the intercepts mean. An x-intercept is going to be of the form 4, 0. A y-intercept equal to 2 is 0, 2. That means we have two points, just like the last couple problems we did. We have two points. Find the slope. 0 minus 2 over 4 minus 0. I could write in a 0 and a 2 right here like I've done before. 0 minus 2, 4 minus 0. Do your arithmetic. Gives you negative 2 over 4, which reduces to negative 1 half. Now, the good news is you don't have much work to finish out. You found the slope. You don't have to go find the y-intercept because it's right there. So your equation is just y equals the slope we found, which was negative 1 half x, plus the y-intercept of 2. We're done. So the work in this kind of problem is in finding the slope. Same kind of problem, x-intercept negative 6, y-intercept negative 4. The x-intercept is negative 6, 0. The y-intercept is 0, negative 4. So same thing, I'm going to write this 0, negative 4 underneath so I can do my slope. The slope is 0 minus negative 4, and of course I'm going to change both those to plus. I'm going to get 4 over 6, which reduces to 2 thirds, plugging into y equals mx plus b. y equals 2 thirds x plus b, which is your y-intercept, plus a negative 4 or just minus 4 would have been fine. A little bit harder because of the fractions. X-intercept, Y-intercept. So X-intercept is 1 half 0. Y-intercept is 0, 1 third. Write these underneath so I can get my slope right. So your slope is 0 minus a third over 1 half minus 0. Clean this up, and I have negative 1 third over 1 half. Now, negative 1 third over 1 half is the same as dividing. So dividing fractions, you take this bottom and you flip it upside down and multiply. So negative one-third times the reciprocal of the bottom is going to give me negative two-thirds. So same thing. There's my slope. There's my y-intercept. I just have to write y equals the slope, which was negative two-thirds times x, plus the y-intercept of one-third.